First of all, welcome back, sir. What was it like being away, and what is it like to be back and get a nice victory like that over Anthony Pettis? It's Nick Diaz Army. I feel good to be back. So, do you think you will be back permanently now? You took a nice long layoff for three years off. After this great fight, having this great victory, do you think we'll be seeing you fighting regularly now? The reason I was off is because everybody sucked. There was nobody to fight. But with this, uh, with this belt, I want to defend it against uh, Jorge Masvidal. Had a good last fight. Good last fight. All respect to the man, but there ain't no gangsters in this game anymore. There ain't nobody who done it right but me and him. So I know my man's a gangster, but he ain't no West Coast gangster. You know what I'm saying? That'll be a fantastic fight, Nate. This was a great fight for you tonight, a great fight to come back against a guy like Anthony Pettis. Was there anything surprising about this tonight? No, I just worked out a little different this time. I worked out more like, probably more like he does. So I could push the pace in the beginning. Cause I'm used to five, mount, five round fights. So I got tired trying to go hard. I think I do better in a longer fight, making it happen the way it's supposed to happen. Congratulations, sir. Enjoy your victory. It's great to see you back. Shout out to my corners. Richard Perez, the best boxing coach in the world. My partner who runs the Nick Diaz Academy, Randy Spence, and the legendary Carl Gracie, the man Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Stock in California, baby. You already know what's up. Nick Diaz, ladies and gentlemen. You're like you're like a gazelle, you're a little bunched up together, hoping, hoping yeah, that no you get spared. Where's but your I'm a lion. At? You knocked out midgets. I'm a lion in there, and Short I'm gonna eat you people. alive. Your little gazelle friends are gonna be staring through the cage, looking at you getting getting your carcass getting eaten alive, and they can I'll do nothing. All the they're fucker. gonna do is say, "No training We're never gonna cross all. this river again. Where's your boxing? Who who do you train with? You got that little goofy motherfucker with you? You got that skinny I'm training for real. No, I got a real training bitch at the real workout. Workout. Real Who do you train with? Top I'd slap the head off your whole team one by boxers. one. You and your big brother. Top 10 you, you, you guys. Brother. Top 10 kickboxers. You don't got, you're playing touch butt with that dork in the park. The ponytail. And I'm the one who ain't got no training partner? I don't think so. You seem to have it all figured out when you're fighting midgets. You got shit. Bring, bring your training partners in. You're going to need them. My whole team will fucking beat your whole team's ass. How about that? I think I talked a little bit too much in there. Uh, Should have been more strategic. But he was running away. He was running in circles for me. You know what I'm saying? After the weekend exchange, he's like, why am I chasing him? I'm like, where are you going? And where is his yellow card? Because <laughs> if I would have just stayed in one spot, then he would have just been doing laps around me. Right here. Good, because it's extremely serious. For Nate Diaz, you talked about McGregor's training partner and playing touch butt. Can you elaborate on what touch butt is and then uh, explain how crucial your training partners have been to your success? I'm just saying I train with, you know, <clears throat> I train with top guys, you know, I train with Kron Gracie, uh, world champion or best jiu-jitsu guy there is. I train with Nick and Jake and Gil, top 10 MMA fighters and Joe Schilling, top 10 kickboxer. Just all around top ten guys, and then all I see is this guy in the park with that goofball with the you train with bombs. So I'm like, bums, who's the bums? Train with? That funny motherfucker Juice with heads. the stupid haircut. Juice heads and bombs. I one of my little ones, dude, slapped the shit out of that guy. What the fuck? So that's my opinion on the whole it's, training you're situation. About slapping he got nobody. I'm here with Nate Diaz, ladies and gentlemen. God, Evie. Fuck your bitch ass belt, too. Look the belt. I don't give a fuck about the belt. The only belt Why I care about. Why you it everywhere? Why you bring it everywhere? He 
people are acting excited when they show up, excited when Mr. WWE comes. Give me a chance to go to the WWE and uh, make his money. You won't catch me back here at the UFC making <laughs> pennies no more. I'm sorry, but this guy's making a joke out of my serious life and getting compensated more for it. I'm cool with it. He got that little nose, too. He got that little nose. Did you see it? That thing's a virgin. It's going to...